Welcome back. I'm Rudy Winston with Canon USA, and in this episode, we'll walk you through the steps to actually connect the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi in the EOS 77D camera to an Apple iOS device. The steps for Android devices are similar, but there will be some differences. If your device does not have a compatible version of Bluetooth, another video in this series will guide you through the Wi-Fi connection process. For the remainder of this episode, whenever we use the term smartphone, you can assume we're also including compatible Android and iOS tablets as well. Your device will need the latest version of Canon's free Camera Connect app installed. It's available for both Android and iOS devices as a free download from Google Play or the Apple App Store. Be sure to get the genuine app from Canon Inc. If you've got an older version of the Canon app on your smartphone, upgrade it so it will work with the EOS 77D. Before you start, go into your smartphone's settings area and ensure that both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are turned on, assuming your device has Bluetooth. And make sure your camera has a memory card actually installed and that your camera battery is fully charged. To perform the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connections on your smartphone, you will not need an internet connection or access to your home or office Wi-Fi. The EOS 77D will send its own wireless signals to your mobile device. While there are a number of detailed steps in the initial setup for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, once you've completed the setup for the first time, the camera will remember your connections and reconnecting again later is usually a quick operation. We'll discuss that later in this episode. Let's get the EOS 77D ready for wireless connection to a smartphone. The camera's wireless settings are in its yellow function settings menu area with the little wrench icon. The starting point is wireless communication settings on the first yellow menu screen. All wireless menu items in the camera are here. Tap this item on the menu screen, and in the next screen that appears, select Nickname. The camera needs a distinct network name, which it will send out to your smartphone. Out of the box, it will have a name matching its model name with a few added characters. You can change this, which can be helpful if you will be setting up several EOS 77D cameras. If you tap OK several times, the camera keeps its factory set nickname. On the smartphone, you'll be toggling back and forth between the phone's settings area and the Canon Camera Connect app. Going from one to the other is easier if you move the Canon app's icon to the same screen as your device's settings icon. The first step is to connect the camera's low power Bluetooth wireless to your smartphone. This will keep a steady, low-power connection between the camera and mobile device as long as the camera is turned on. When the Camera Connect app is instructed to view camera images, download pictures to your smartphone, or remote control the camera, it temporarily shuts off Bluetooth and switches to the stronger Wi-Fi type wireless signals. Some smartphones and tablets may not have Bluetooth capability at all or may be using a version of Bluetooth that's older than the version 4 used on the EOS 77D. If your device doesn't have compatible Bluetooth, that's no problem. Just ignore the Bluetooth setup steps in this video and connect your wireless exclusively with the Wi-Fi, which we'll discuss later. Step 1. With Bluetooth on in your phone settings, go to the EOS 77D's yellow setup menu and tap on wireless communication settings. Step two, a new menu page opens up. Scroll down or tap on Bluetooth function and tap again to open it. Select smartphone, then press set to okay this choice. The camera will prompt you to enter a nickname for the camera, but you can ignore this if you've already taken care of it. Just press OK a few times to confirm whatever is displayed. Step three, be sure your smartphone is on. In the camera's Bluetooth menu area, select pairing. 
Assuming you've already installed the Camera Connect app on your device, you can ignore the camera menu screen that comes up asking about a QR code display. Step four, the camera menu now says pairing in progress. Don't cancel out of this. Start the Camera Connect app on the smartphone. You should see a screen on the phone which says new Bluetooth enabled camera found. Below that is the camera nickname. Tap on that to select it. Then another window will appear on your phone screen, Bluetooth pairing request. Tap on pair to confirm this. And ignore any screen that pops up saying incorrect Wi-Fi password. Just click cancel on that window. Step five, go back to the camera menu. It should display connect to this smartphone. Tap OK. You should then get a confirmation on the camera menu saying paired with smartphone or similar wording. Tap OK. The Bluetooth from the EOS 77D is now connected to your mobile device. On the phone, the Camera Connect app screen should display a small Bluetooth icon near the top with a little dotted line connecting it to a camera icon. When you see this, Bluetooth is active between the camera and your smartphone. Here's a quick tip. If you go through this process and it fails for whatever reason, double tap your phone's home button and swipe the Canon app on screen to turn it completely off. Then repeat the process. Next, you need to connect the stronger Wi-Fi wireless communication between the EOS 77D and your smartphone. It's these stronger Wi-Fi signals that will be used whenever you view or download images to your phone or remote control the camera from your phone with the Canon app. Before we start, if you're using an Android device with NFC communication, you can usually just hold the left side of the EOS 77D up to the NFC contact area on your device. After a few moments, the phone's screen will display a few quick setup steps. Perform them and Wi-Fi is connected between your smartphone and camera. For the rest of us, you'll need to set up Wi-Fi via the Camera Connect app and to some degree, your camera's setup menu. With your smartphone turned on, here's what to do. Step one, on the first screen in the yellow setup menu, tap on wireless communication settings. In the next screen, select Wi-Fi settings and then enable. Step two, go back to the Canon app on your smartphone. Be sure the same Bluetooth icon is visible, indicating Bluetooth from the EO 77D to your device is active. If you don't have Bluetooth compatibility on your mobile device, no problem. We'll go through the steps later. Step three, for those with Bluetooth, tap on either of the primary commands on the Camera Connect app screen, images on camera or remote live view shooting. Step four, the app now displays a new window, changing to Wi-Fi connection. Tap the middle of the screen where it says copy password. Do not, under any circumstances, tap on any wording such as cancel on this window. It will completely erase your Wi-Fi connection. Instead, press your device's home button and then go to settings in your smartphone. Step five, go to Wi-Fi in the settings area of your device. From the list of Wi-Fi networks your phone is detecting, tap on the camera's nickname. The phone will prompt you to enter a password. Hold your finger on the blinking cursor for a few seconds and then remove it. You'll be prompted to paste into that field. Tap paste. The password appears in the password field. Step six, tap join or OK on the phone's screen. Step seven, go back to the Camera Connect app. It should now automatically engage whichever app function you tapped in step four. 
the Wi-Fi connection is up and running. On the smartphone, the Camera Connect app screen should now show two things. The familiar Wi-Fi logo near the top of the screen with a little dotted line connecting it to the camera. And the Bluetooth icon you saw a few moments ago should now be grayed out. This means the stronger Wi-Fi wireless is active and the camera has temporarily disabled Bluetooth. You can turn off Wi-Fi and return to the low power Bluetooth connection if your smartphone has it by tapping on the little X box on the Canon app screen. Bluetooth should reconnect within a few moments. Note that when you turn off Wi-Fi, your phone will often immediately display a warning saying incorrect Wi-Fi password. You can ignore this. It just means the phone is now searching for another wireless network to connect with. Simply tap cancel on this window to clear it. When you turn off the phone or camera, both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi will need to reconnect the next time you turn the camera and phone back on. The camera normally remembers previous devices it was connected to and makes it fairly simple to reconnect them. We suggest leaving Bluetooth turned on in your camera's menu, even if you're not using wireless features. This will make reconnecting later easier. One note, if you want to use a traditional infrared wireless remote controller, like Canon's optional RC6, you will need to turn Bluetooth off in the camera menu. However, when you turn it back on, it will normally reconnect automatically with the smartphone as long as you've not gone into the phone's Bluetooth settings and told it, forget this device. If you're using a smartphone without compatible Bluetooth, it's a little different and we'll walk you through it later. For those with Bluetooth, with both the camera and smartphone back on, start the Camera Connect app on the phone. After a few moments, you should see the Bluetooth icon on the top of the app window. If it doesn't appear, try turning the camera off and back on again. The Wi-Fi signal will need to be separately reactivated. As soon as you tap on one of the app's commands, such as view images on the camera, a window will appear on the smartphone screen saying, changing to Wi-Fi connection. The next two things are important. There's an empty area which says copy password. Tap this area and the system generates a new password to make the Wi-Fi connection. This is now copied into your device. This is vital. Do not tap anything on this window which says cancel. This doesn't clear the window. Instead, it will completely wipe out your Wi-Fi connection. What you need to do now is tap your device's home button and return to the phone's settings. Enter Wi-Fi settings and tap on the camera nickname, which should appear again on the phone's list of detected networks. There may already be a check mark next to the camera name on the Wi-Fi list. If it asks you for a password, Paste in the password you just copied from the app and tap OK or Join. That should reestablish the Wi-Fi part of the wireless connection between your phone and camera. You can now return to the Camera Connect app and perform any tasks you want to. The app should display the familiar Wi-Fi icon at the top of its main window. That's the process to make an initial connection and then to reconnect the EOS 77D and your smartphone or tablet after they've been turned off. You're now ready to quickly use the phone and see and share pictures you take, and this can open up entirely new ways to let friends and family quickly see your pictures, and you can do it within moments of taking them. Thanks again for joining us in this instructional series on the EOS 77D. For Canon USA, I'm Rudy Winston.